Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for coming by. Today I am doing another hairstyle. This is a low bun using the needle and thread cornrows technique. So today I am starting from the washing. I'm using black soap to wash the hair. Now I am rubbing the scalp. The shampoo can go on the hair, but it's the scalp that I need to rub because that's where the build up happens. And then rinse. And then I go in and condition the hair and make sure that I detangle the hair and then rinse that out. That's basically my wash process and now I am wrapping the hair using a tissue towel. We don't use microfiber towels, we don't use cotton towels, we use these ones because they are much kinder to the hair. I am also using the leave-in conditioner by Nasha Organics to detangle the hair and I apply it all over before I even start parting the hair so that I can detangle it. So now I am going in with my fingers to detangle the hair because I want to make sure that when I put the brush in, most of the tangles are actually gone. That way there is minimum breakage and there is less pain. So I detangled the whole head. This way I won't struggle to part the hair. Can you imagine parting hair that is so tangled? It is painful for the client and it's also frustrating for the stylist. So it's better to just detangle the hair before you start parting it. In case this is the first video that you're watching on the needle and thread corner technique, I don't tie a knot at the start. I basically hold the thread together with the hair and then I start threading. So the needle goes around completely from one side to the other the first time and then the second time it is already going from one side to the middle of the section and then out and then going on the opposite side of that same section and then comes out in the middle and then out so that's basically what i'll be doing the whole head this is basically the needle and thread corner technique you can see the gaps, right? That is because she has a looser texture. I did this video so that you can know what to expect if you've got a looser texture. So this is how it will generally come out. I'm just managing expectations here. The needle that I'm using is a big needle and it is blunt. So there is a very small chance that I'll prick someone unless it's a proper, like a hectic, terrible accident that may happen. Otherwise, everything being equal, no one is going to be pricked. It is blunt. It is a yarn sewing needle. So that is the reason why I use it because it is much safer. I hear you can also get a plastic yarn sewing needle on Amazon. So you can also get that. And I think that will also be safe as much as this is safe. But if you don't think that this is safe enough, better get the plastic one. For the parts there, I am using the Echo Styler Gel. Clear and neat parts are very important for this hairstyle. And that's the reason why I'm using a gel to make sure that I've got very clean parts. So I decided to use the Echo Styler Gel. For no particular reason, you can actually use an edge tamer. You can use a gel. I just decided to use Echo Styler Gel. Do you like this video? Please give me a thumbs up if you like it and if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so that you don't miss any of the videos that are put on this channel. Otherwise, thank you so much for coming through, for clicking on one of my videos and if you can watch one more video before you leave, that would be amazing. Thank you so, so much. So everything here is self-explanatory and I'm going to just put some bits so that you guys can just sit back and enjoy the video.
so when i get to the end of that section i am basically wrapping the thread on the hanging hair using the african threading technique Now I finish the needle and thread cornrows so I bring all the hair into a bun at the back and then I do an inverted bun. You guys have seen how I do an inverted bun. If you want a special tutorial for that let me know otherwise that's basically what I do. And now I am putting the hair. I am using some kinky afro bulk. I can't remember the I can't remember the brand, but she came with it, so I don't stock it at all. You can use any hair piece here as well, or even leave it like that. I think the hairstyle is cute like that, but you can use any hair piece. You can even use straight hair. You can use Mari Kinky, Afro Bulk, whatever hair that you've got. I'm using a crochet needle to add the hair at the back. If you don't know how to crochet, there are several videos on my channel and on other channels as well here on YouTube. So you can watch those ones. But uh, in this case, I wasn't exactly doing a tutorial for crocheting because there are lots of videos already, even on my channel. So uh, make sure you go and check them out and then you can watch them. Now I am trimming the synthetic hair that we've just added and then I am also just putting some gel and doing some baby hair stuff. <laughs> she doesn't have much of baby hair but I managed to pick up a few baby hairs that she has and that's what I just laid there. This is actually how you can wear this hairstyle. This is one of the ways you can just uh, make a bun with the extension or leave it out like that. Thank you so much for coming you guys, I really appreciate it and if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so that you don't miss any of the videos that are put on this channel. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, I will see you guys in the next video. God bless you. Bye.